As a neurologist, I need to warn you. Right now, millions of seniors are taking two blood pressure pills together that should never be combined. They think they're protecting their heart. Instead, they're setting themselves up for a stroke, and their own doctors might not even realize the danger. I'm Dr. Bill Harrison, neurologist and stroke specialist. Every week in my emergency room, I treat strokes that were caused by something that was supposed to prevent them, blood pressure medications. Not because the medicines are bad, but because certain combinations turn helpful pills into deadly cocktails. Before I reveal which combination is the most dangerous, tell me this. Type 1 in the comments if you take two or more blood pressure medications. Type 0 if you take one or none. I need to know who's most at risk right now. Today, I'll show you dangerous pill pairs that can make your heart too slow, drop your blood pressure too far, or raise your stroke risk. And I'll tell you exactly what to do instead. If you're over 60 and take any blood pressure medication, hit that subscribe button for Inspired Living immediately. This information could save your life tonight. Let me tell you about George Dalton, whose story will make you run to check your medicine cabinet. George, 72, was a responsible patient. He took his beta blocker faithfully every morning for his heart. Then one day, he found an old bottle of Verapamil in his cabinet from a previous doctor. It's for blood pressure, too, he thought. Two must be better than one. That decision nearly killed him. Within days, George started feeling dizzy. His wife noticed he was moving slower. Then, one morning, he stood up and collapsed. His heart rate had dropped to 35 beats per minute, half of normal. His brain wasn't getting enough blood. By the time the ambulance arrived, George had suffered a small stroke. What George didn't know was that both pills slow the heart. Together, they slowed it so much, his brain starved for oxygen. Let me show you the deadly combinations hiding in medicine cabinets everywhere. Dangerous pair. Number one, two heart-slowing pills together. George Dalton's mistake is terrifyingly common. He combined a beta blocker with a calcium channel blocker like Verapamil. Both medicines slow your heart rate. Taking them together is like hitting the brakes twice. Your heart can almost stop. Your brain needs steady blood flow. When your heart beats too slowly, blood doesn't reach your brain properly. You get dizzy, you get confused, you might faint. Worst of all, your brain cells start dying from lack of oxygen. George was lucky. His stroke was small, but he now needs a pacemaker because the combination damaged his heart's electrical system. I thought I was being extra careful, he told me. I never imagined two blood pressure pills could hurt me. The safe approach. Use one heart-slowing pill unless your doctor specifically plans both and monitors your heart rate closely. Always ask, do these two both slow my heart? If yes, you need special monitoring. Dangerous pair number two. Two same path pressure pills. Patricia Rivera, 68, made a mistake that happens in thousands of homes. She took an ACE inhibitor from her regular doctor. Then she added an ARB that her friend swore by. They're both for blood pressure, she reasoned. Different names, so they must be okay together. Wrong. Dead wrong. ACE inhibitors and ARBs work on the exact same system in your body. Taking both is like opening the same door twice. It doesn't help and can cause serious harm. Patricia's blood pressure dropped too low. Her kidneys started failing. She felt weak and confused. Then came the mini-stroke. The combination that was supposed to protect her had damaged her kidneys and brain. Critical fact, these two medication types should almost never be combined. They can drop pressure dangerously low and destroy kidney function one or the other, not both, unless your doctor has a very specific reason and watches you like a hawk. Dangerous. Pair number three, potassium-raising combinations. Harold Bennett, 80, took spironolactone, 
a water pill that saves potassium. His legs cramped at night, so he added potassium tablets from the drugstore. This combination is a heart attack waiting to happen. When potassium gets too high, your heart's electrical system goes haywire. It can beat irregularly, too fast, too slow, or stop entirely. Harold's potassium level shot up to dangerous levels. His heart started fluttering like a dying bird. During one of these episodes, Harold's irregular heartbeat sent a clot to his brain. The stroke was small, but the message was huge. Never combine potassium-saving medicines with potassium supplements. Life-saving rule. If you take any pill that saves potassium, never add potassium pills, salt substitutes, or even high-potassium foods without your doctor's OK. Get blood tests regularly. Your heart's rhythm depends on it. If this information about potassium combinations is new to you, type 1 in the comments now. Type 0 if you already knew this danger. Help me understand what information inspired living viewers need most. Dangerous pair. Number four, water pills, plus pain pills. Javier Ortiz, 76, took a strong water pill for his blood pressure. His knees hurt, so he took ibuprofen daily. This common combination nearly destroyed his kidneys and caused a stroke. Water pills make you pee out extra fluid. NSAIDs like ibuprofen reduce blood flow to kidneys. Together, they're kidney poison. Javier's blood pressure swung wildly, high one day, low the next. His kidneys struggled to work. One morning, Javier's pressure spiked so high, he had a small stroke. The pain pills meant to help his knees had teamed up with his water pill to damage his brain. Safer pain relief. Try topical creams that don't affect your whole body. Use heat or cold packs. Try gentle movement. If you must take pills, acetaminophen is usually safer with water pills. Always ask your doctor about safe timing and doses. Dangerous pair number five, blood pressure pills, plus blue pills, plus chest pills. Carlos Alvarez, 74, took blood pressure medication daily. He also used sildenafil for intimacy. One night, he felt chest pain and took a nitroglycerin tablet. The combination caused his blood pressure to crash to near zero. All three medicines lower blood pressure. Together, they can cause a catastrophic drop. Carlos blacked out in his bathroom. His wife found him unconscious. His brain had been without proper blood flow for who knows how long. Absolute rule, never ever mix erectile dysfunction pills with nitrates. The combination can kill you. If you use both types of medicine, you need clear instructions about timing and what to do in emergencies. Tell every doctor about every pill you take. Embarrassment isn't worth dying for. Dangerous pair number six, heart pills, plus cold medicine. Elaine Parker, 79, took a beta blocker for her heart. When she caught a cold, she bought pseudoephedrine at the drugstore. The combination caused her heart to race and skip beats. Beta blockers slow your heart and lower pressure. Decongestants do the opposite. They raise pressure and speed your heart. Taking both is like pressing the gas and brake at the same time. Your heart doesn't know what to do. Elaine felt her heart pounding. She got dizzy standing up. Her blood pressure readings were all over the map. The confusion in her cardiovascular system nearly caused a stroke. Cold relief safety. Use saline nasal spray instead of pills. Try steam inhalation. Use steroid nose sprays if your doctor approves. Never take decongestants with heart medications without asking first. Dangerous pair number seven, double water pills by accident. Dorothy Owens, 73, took her prescribed water pill every morning. At night, she added an over-the-counter bloat relief pill. She didn't realize it was also a diuretic. The double dose nearly killed her. Two water pills drain too much fluid. Your blood gets thick. Your salt levels crash. You get confused and weak. Dorothy woke up at 3 a.m. completely disoriented. She couldn't remember where she was. 
The severe dehydration from double diuretics had thickened her blood so much that clots formed. One traveled to her brain. Dorothy survived, but now lives in assisted care, all from taking two pills that do the same thing. Prevention protocol. Read every label. Many bloat or PMS pills contain diuretics. Never take two water pills unless your doctor specifically prescribes both with careful monitoring. One is usually enough. Dangerous, pair number eight, blood pressure pills plus evening alcohol. Loretta Dixon, 78, took her blood pressure medication with dinner. Then she had two glasses of wine while watching TV. This nightly routine was slowly damaging her brain. Alcohol lowers blood pressure. So do blood pressure pills. Together at night, they can drop pressure so low, your brain doesn't get enough blood while you sleep. It's called nocturnal hypotension, and it's a silent brain killer. One night, Loretta got up to use the bathroom. She stood, got dizzy, and fell hard. But the fall wasn't the only problem. Her brain had been oxygen-starved for hours. The resulting mini-stroke left her with permanent balance problems. Timing matters. If you drink alcohol, keep it minimal and not near medication time. Never drink within two to three hours of blood pressure pills. Your brain needs stable pressure all night long. Now I need you to check your medicine cabinet. Count how many of these risky combinations you might have. Two heart-slowing pills, ACE inhibitor plus ARB, potassium-raising combinations, water pill plus pain pills, blood pressure pills plus ED drugs plus nitrates, heart pills plus cold medicine, double water pills, blood pressure pills plus alcohol. Type that number in the comments. If it's even one, you're at risk. Here's your medication safety plan starting tonight. Step one, make a complete list. Write down every single pill you take. Include prescription medicines, over-the-counter pills, vitamins, and herbs. Don't forget the ones you only take sometimes. Step two, circle potential pairs. Look for pills that might do similar things. Do any slow your heart, raise potassium, lower blood pressure, remove fluid, circle these pairs. Step three, Bring everything to your doctor. Take all your pill bottles to your next visit. Don't be embarrassed. Your doctor needs to see everything to keep you safe. Step 4. Ask simple questions. Do any of these do the same job? Could any slow my heart too much? Do any raise potassium? What should I never take together? Write down the answers. Step 5. Never stop on your own. If a combination is dangerous, your doctor will safely adjust your medicines. Stopping suddenly can be as dangerous as the wrong combination. Remember George Dalton from the beginning? He combined two heart-slowing pills, thinking more was better. The stroke changed his life forever. I wish I'd asked my doctor first, he says now. Five minutes of questions could have saved me from a lifetime of disability. You don't have to make George's mistake. You have knowledge he didn't have. Tonight, gather every pill bottle you own. Tomorrow, call your doctor's office. Say you need a medication review. It could be the most important appointment of your life. Share this video with everyone over 60 who takes blood pressure medication. George's family wishes someone had warned him. Be that warning for someone else. If this video opened your eyes to dangerous combinations you're taking, hit that like button now. Subscribe to Inspired Living for more life-saving medication safety information. Type 1 if you're going to review your medications with your doctor this week. Type 0 if you think your current combinations are safe. Your life may depend on this choice. This information is for educational purposes only and not personal medical advice. Never start or stop any prescribed medication without consulting your health care provider. Some medication combinations may be appropriate for certain patients when properly monitored. Always discuss all medications with your doctor before making any changes. Remember, blood pressure pills save lives when used correctly. They end lives when combined wrongly. The difference is 
knowledge, monitoring, and medical guidance. Check your combinations tonight. Make that appointment tomorrow. One conversation can prevent a stroke. Stay safe. Stay monitored. Stay alive.